Hey guys, my name is Yannis Gertmanis. We are here in America, in Colorado. We are here with Suma. We're going to work with Black Eagle to install these six mixers from Suma. Let's see how it goes. People from Black Eagle are unboxing the Suma mixers, which have been delivered by Lufthansa Cargo, and they are pretty much ready to go inside the tanks. What we have to do when they're going to be unboxed, we have to put engines on and they're ready to go inside. We are now at the stage where we have to seal down the engine, put it onto the gearbox, fill it up with the oil, and then these mixes are going to be pretty much ready to go inside the tank. But after these are done, they have to still drill the holes for the templates uh, so our frame fits in. So that all going to happen pretty much soon. But yeah, this is the procedure what we're going to follow right now. And then the, once the holes are ready, we take it all over to the site. Engineer Ansys is helping engineers from the customer to understand how correctly to install motors onto the actual mixers. They just come to the end and we just literally made last amendments on our plans. Um, one of the things was uh, we wanted to place one of the mixers right in this place where the insulation is already off, but it's a bit too low because the supporting lead can't fit. So we're going to move a bit to the left and going to lift it higher and install it right into the second plate of the tank wall. So now is the end of the day. It was very, very good day. Uh, we did a lot. We installed all of the motors of the mixers we made all of the plans for tomorrow how to make the holes in the walls where we're going to make them exactly and this is it for today We are just arrived on site and we're checking the mixes. Uh, some of the guys from the client has filled the oils in the gearbox, so mixes are pretty much now ready. We are waiting for Black Eagle to turn up to see which tank we're going to start with. They're going to torch out the hole for the for the post to go through, and then we're going to use the jig to get a main holes for the subframe to get it tight and properly in place. You can see the first hole is already out. Well, first steel piece is out and the first mixer is ready to be installed. What we have to do now, we're going to magnetic drill holes for the subframe. But the hole is successfully cut. I was a bit worried because it was torched. We never do that in UK. We would drill it and cut it with uh, sparkless saws. Um, but I mean, it was perfectly ventilated. Uh, guys know what they're doing. These are the health and safety rules in America. They all cool with that, we are cool with that because they are cool with that. So yeah, first haul is done, we're ready for the next. Really the end of the day, uh, of the day number two, we managed to get three holes, the bigger holes with the, with the torch, 
uh, cutouts, and now the guys are on the first hole drilling smaller holes for the bolt uh, for the bolts. Bolts we're gonna get tomorrow. Now we're gonna bring over the first mixer to the first cutout, and uh, these mixers are perfectly balanced out. Uh, we've got shackles in perfect place, so when they're gonna lift it, it has to be always straight. So it's easy for installation, and this is Suma's product. Suma made that very quality because it's very important when you lift it up to get it straight and. These are, these are perfectly balanced. You guys are still on the last two holes for the last two mixes, so they, they're gonna finish that today so basically the ones we're gonna get those bolts tomorrow pretty much we are ready to go uh, one by one and install all of those six mixes and we're gonna be ready by Friday we are on site now Bolts has been delivered. Guys are starting now with sealing. We're going to show them how to properly seal, properly seal that base plate down. And then they're going to start with the first installation. So we are at the stage when the first mix is going in. So I just wanted to show you what specific sealing materials we use to seal down this whole frame which is going to go in against the wall. We have foam sealing which goes all around the frame where the bolts go through and then we're going to have Zikaflex sealing which, going to, which we're going to use around this area to seal it down so no any digester or any, or any other liquid can uh, escape and, and come behind the wall and the frame out. And also we're going to have this special sealing around every bolt hole which we're going to install. So in that way going to, we, we can 100% prevent any leak. So guys, finally time has come. The first mixer starts to move in slowly. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna check how it fits correctly to the holes. Then we're gonna start to seal with the Zika Flex. The once that is done, we're gonna push it in, bolt it down in all four corners, and then we're gonna start to seal every single bolt and tighten it up. And then pretty much that mixer is gonna be in. And the last bit of it gonna be to install the cylinder, which is gonna move it afterwards to, uh, to up and down positions whenever clients will need that. So as you can see guys, mixer is already in, the bolts are secured and sealed, the frame is sealed, everything is sealed properly, apart from the plate for the cylinder. Now cylinder we have bolted in place, now on the bottom we have to put a plate together and we're going to seal it down to the wall and that's going to be pretty much it for the mixer and then afterwards we have to put the controller board for the cylinder and the pump so we can move it up and down and we're going to install that on the side of the tank uh, away from the mixer so it's easy to access and control.
End of day four, guys. Mixer is finally in. Black Eagle, guys, thumbs up. Perfect job. Every single hole they drilled, we never came back to them. Everything was so, so perfect with those guys. Um, the last thing what we want to install is the switchboard, but we installed this mixer in metal tank. I don't want them to drill more holes inside the walls. So for that reason, I, I suggested to build a little frame in a comfortable height so you can easily access. And when you, when you put it on the side of a tank, you can easily access control it and you see your mixer, which position it moves to. So that is the thing they're gonna put on the last. We're not gonna stay here for the day five because the main thing what we wanted to see and make sure that they install this mixer perfect, cor perfectly correct as it stands on Sumer's manual and, and, our and based on our training and our certifications, that's the reason why Sumer sent us here to just make sure Black Eagle guys don't miss any part of installation. So we, we, we did our job, Black Eagle guys, again, thumbs up, brilliant job. And that's all guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that thumbs up and you share this video for other people in the industry to see.